What's up guys, Handish here, and today we've got a weekly reset in Destiny 2, and it is the 3rd of December, so this is going to be the very final reset of Season of Undying. We've got one week to finish up any of the Vex Undying or seasonal content, and then of course Season of Dawn will kick off next Tuesday. And before then, we do have the reveal for Season of Dawn, so we'll round up what to expect from the new stuff this week, and any kind of season finales in the game, but of course with it being the weekly reset, we will round up the activities, rewards, vendors, and everything worth knowing about the game this week. So guys, as always, I hope you enjoy this video, but now let's get straight into it. And so the very first thing to drop a reminder for this week would be the reveal of Season of Dawn. And this is going to happen tomorrow on Wednesday, the 4th of December at 10 a.m. Pacific which is 6 p.m. in the UK. And so Bungie will be live streaming. We'll also have our own stream right here on the channel, so be sure to stay tuned for that. But just yesterday, Deej cheesed, here we go into a busy week. Time to fill the hot seats for another stream. We're also assembling a fire team to play a new activity. Join us for the show. And so we will be seeing the new seasonal activity for Season of Dawn. It seems pretty likely that we'll also see some new rewards, possible exotics, new artifact mods, or even season pass rewards. But I'd be curious to get a sense from you guys about what you think the seasonal activity could actually be. There is some speculation of trials and maybe that'll be a thing. I honestly think that we're going to see that new kind of sundial forge thing we spoke about in some previous news videos on Mercury, but we'll have to wait and see tomorrow. So be sure to stay tuned right here for that. Now onto the weekly refresh stuff in the game. On the moon, we can see that we've got a whole bunch of nightmare hunts actually available for this week. I'm assuming that this is intentional, but not entirely sure. So if anything changes, I will pin it at the top of the comment section down below. But otherwise, yeah, all of the nightmare hunts are currently available on the map and they will drop the kind of powerful and pinnacle rewards typically associated with them. We've also got the dungeon with pinnacle gear. And of course we have the raid. So the challenge this week is going to be leftovers where I believe you have to get the uh, staying alive challenge, something like that. And uh, otherwise we do have the kind of challenges for the lectern of enchantment and Eris's weeklies, which have refreshed as well. Considering we are in the final week, let's take a look at the Eververse store right here. So as always, we've got all of the featured kind of silver items and things like that. But there is the bright dust section on the front page. So we've got the two hot emote right there, the profiteer shell, and otherwise we've got transmit effects, some shaders and things like that. Of course, you can check out all of the individual pages in the Eververse store. But for the main kind of bright dust page right here, we do have the Ninja Vanish emote available this week. I'm not even going to try and say some of the names of these items, man, but I'm sure if you want to pick any up, you can spot them. Uh, refashioned Shapes, which is a pretty cool, almost kind of Scarlet Keep themed ship right there. Uh, we've got this Sparrow that you can grab this week as well. And then otherwise, we've got a Bad Run, which is an ornament for the Hazard of the Cast, which was the original Gambit Auto Rifle. We've got the chest plate from the Eververse set and the Imperial Beast projection right there as well as other kind of uh, transmat effects shaders and all that good stuff available this week. Moving over to the director, the Flashpoint is going to be over on IO this week, so you can get some powerful gear right here. This week's Nightfall Ordeal is in the new Pacific Arcology, so I believe that's going to be Sabbath in Song right there. You can get your pinnacle and powerful gear as always, but then for the kind of original Nightfalls, we've got a Garden World, and from here you can get the Universal Wave Function ship. We've also got the Inverted Spire, and this will drop the Trichromatic Ghost Shell, and then the Corrupted, where you can get the Horrors Least Pulse Rifle for Dreaming City. Of course, with it being the very final week, one thing I wanted to shout out right here would be a couple of quick tips for grinding out the Season Pass ranks. And so I did have quite a few comments saying, how can I finish the Season Pass efficiently? And we have spoken about this in the past, but for any of you guys who are curious, the most effective way that you can actually farm XP is to complete repurchasable bounties from vendors, especially the ones from the moon, but also the Vex Offensive when you run them at the same time, will give you significant amounts of XP. And so essentially, you keep picking these up and farming them out, but it may also be worth running things like Vanguard bounties in between if you run out of Glimmer, because some of these bounties do start to get pretty expensive. It's also pretty useful to pop a Rainmaker consumable as you play to help you earn back the Glimmer that you spend on repurchasable bounties. But otherwise, if you go through this loop of literally farming all of the Moon and Vex Offensive bounties, and maybe one or two runs of Vex Offensive, and repeating that process with a Rainmaker consumable to keep your Glimmer stacks high, you can level up pretty quickly, but it definitely still requires a bit of a time investment. If you do want any additional tips on finishing up the Season Pass, any of the content in Season of Undying in general, or getting ready for Season of Dawn, then I will link my prep video down below. But once again, bear in mind, the artifact is going to reset on the start of the weekly reset next week. And in addition to this, of course, the ability to acquire the items from the Season Pass will go away, and that'll be replaced with a new one. 
To some of our legacy content, we have the Menagerie right here, so the normal modifiers are Solar Singe, Grounded, and we've got Brawler. And then we've got the Heroic version with Extinguish, Match Game, Attrition, and Arc Singe. If you're jumping into Reckoning though, we do have Void Singe and Brawler up to date, which should be pretty fun. And finally, for the Prestige modifiers for Leviathan Raid, if you are doing any of the OG raids right there, we've got Prestige Arsenal and then Arms Master up this week. Finally, when it comes to the Escalation Protocol for this week, Damkath the Mask is going to be the boss, and so when you take them down, you can randomly acquire the Sniper Rifle from the set. And finally, in the Dreaming City, Samara Garrison is going to be the Ascendant Challenge, and this is the one that you access via the Chamber of Starlight. If you are looking for any gameplay of the Ascendant Challenge, the location, Corrupted Eggs, and all that good stuff, as always, I will run that at the end of the video for any of you guys catching up with the Year 2 content. For now though guys, that's everything we've got to speak about in this video, so I'll keep you posted with all the news this week. Week, be sure to get subscribed to keep up to date with everything that we're going to be getting as we go into Season of Dawn. But if you've enjoyed this video, a rating below really helps me out, and I'd also be curious to hear any of your thoughts on what we might actually get in terms of content in Season of Dawn. But otherwise, thank you as always for tuning in guys, and whatever you get up to, I hope you have an awesome day.